Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to um, do a layout for my Disney album and we are going to visit or start our visit to Pixar Pier in Disney California or Disney's California Adventure. I always say it wrong, sorry. Um, <laughs> so um, this is going to get us started um, for the next few videos from our for our Disney album um, because they will all be from this general area of the park. So I hope that you're excited and game to join me on this adventure. Um, Pixar Pier is a fun place. It reminds me a lot of um, what my mind envisioned from the fair that Pinocchio went to, you know, the one where he ends up making a bad choice and and lying and losing um, or getting donkey ears or something. I can't remember. I don't remember specifically, but something it was something along that line where there was some kind of unusual consequence that was not good. But this is good so let's check out my desktop and get started all right so here we have um, my workspace for today i have um, my a selection of photos there's a few more underneath the paper here and i have some papers from sparks of magic and um, the other collections that cm has had through the years that have um, been related to theme parks and so mainly the colors consistent throughout all of these are black and yellow or gold and red and white of course so um, pretty consistent and fairly consistent with the colors that we see on a lot of the um, decorations that are in this area of Disney, Disneyland California at least so that's what we're going to use today and we're going to create a, a banner border that goes across both pages and we're going to do that by using this border maker cartridge this is the dotted banner punch and you can see it leaves a little circle kind of embellishment or ornament kind of hanging on the swag which is kind of cool but we're going to do multiple swags and kind of incorporate them together and see what we can come up with that might be a little bit different than what we've seen before um, today so we're going to use this one as kind of our base creative element and then we're going to kind of just um, play with it we're also going to maybe add in some circles so that's why i have this circle punch out here if you're an old cm person you will recognize this this is the one and this is the one and a quarter and one and a half inch circle punch from old creative memories if you have this you could get it out and use it um, if you have the one and three quarter inch circle punch that um, we just came out with not too long ago I'm just unburying it here this one you could probably use that one it might be a little bit big but it's okay it would probably still be fine to use um, if you have the CM cutting system with the circle templates um, you could get these out and use these as well we're just going to make maybe some miscellaneous circles to use um, as embellishments on this page so that's what these that's what the extra circles are going to be for but for right now the uh, the only thing we're going to punch is um, a border that we're going to go ahead and punch to go across the top so I'm going to get my border making system out I'm going to go ahead and um, I've got I've got my Bodine Bakery um, sourdough bakery <laughs> pictures on the back of this. You'll recall that's the last uh, the the last thing that we did together. And so there's my other photos I mentioned before. I'm just going to go ahead and set this to the side so that we have it out of um, out of our way for a bit. We're going to take these 12 by 12 pieces which have cool designs on the back and I think I like this one the most I'm not sure about the stripes we'll have to see how that looks once we've punched it and, um, and I'm not sure about this one either this one may turn into a, like a 
just used for matting photos. But um, let's go ahead and punch both of these, see what they look like with the banner, the dotted banner cartridge. And, um, and yeah, we'll proceed from there, okay? So I've loaded that up. If you haven't used our CM custom border maker system before, um, it's super easy to use. Let me just show it to you and then I'll talk you through it the next time around. But it is really fun and you can buy different cartridges for it so you can do a lot of really neat professionally cut borders very quickly. So you can see that one is a let, actually a little busy, a little busier than I expected it to be with all of those colors going on. I'm liking the red and the white, or red and the black polka dot. Um, let's do another one of this one, just so we have two to kind of decide. That chevron may just be a little bit busier than I want, but I mean, it is a party, so I suppose we do need some movement in this. It's just so busy you almost don't even see the little design element of the of the swag. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one here real quick. Alright, give me just a second here. And I did say I was gonna talk you through it and then I didn't do it, so just give me one minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna make good on that. We're gonna do these fireworks or flowers or however you might want to consider these to be. To me they look like fireworks, but if you look really closely they do look a little bit more like flowers. So I don't know. So we have this guide on the on the paper holder that tucks in neatly on the back like that, it snaps into place. We bring that forward and snap it into place and then it's got a shoulder on it which guides our paper out just the right amount. So we feed our paper in until we get to that, sh that shoulder. This arm has a magnet all the way down it that you when you close this it holds your paper super, super steady. And then your border maker cartridge has teeth on the front. The teeth fit into these notches on the back side of your holder. The notches that you cannot see when you have paper loaded. So because you cannot see it when you have paper loaded, you also have this notch on the front right here. It's harder to see. There you go, that's a little bit better. Um, Hard, hard to see because it is the same color as the neutral handle of the punch. But that notch meets up with these notches that you can see, these corresponding notches. There's six of them on, on the paper holder, which are also difficult to, to see. Uh, maybe you just have to trust me that they're there. But yeah, you can see there's one there, there's one there. There are six of them about every two inches all the way down the 12 inch holder. So you just line up the teeth so that you can't move the cartridge back and forth and punch. You do want to make sure that it is pushed all the way in and level. If you punch before it gets there then you will end up with something not lining up the way you might want it to. which might make you sad. Of course, sometimes you come up with cool stuff that way that you didn't ever realize you could do. These cartridges are designed so that you can, um, some of them will work really well if you use uh, more than one on one border that you're punching, which is also fun to do. I'll do a layout um, <clears throat> doing that at some point, but not today. Today we're just doing banners. All right, so that is what all four of these designs look like. I think I want three on each side, so what we need to decide is 
which three we like best. I know I like this one. Of course, it's going on a black page, so I think the red will stand out really nicely. I'm pretty sure I like this one. So it's just a matter of which one of these, which one of these other ones works best. Hmm. Well, actually, I think I do like the chevron one best because there's more color in it. Does that make sense? All right. So, what's on the back of this one? The dots. But we need two of those. This one is this one. So we are good with that. We've got two, one for each side of the page. So I need two more of the other, two more of this one. Bear with me while I get those punched real quick. Okay. So let me release that and stick that back over here. We are done punching borders for right now, but what I'm wondering is if we could, <laughs> hang on, sorry, my mind is wandering. Okay, so I'm just going to release that out of the holder and put that away. So it is up and off the table. Let's grab these pieces, uh, these pages, pages that we're going to be working with, and play with this for a minute. All right. So my idea was that I wanted to take each of these and make. I thought maybe we could make either either kind of a um, an overlapping swag so that it kind of went multiple di multiple directions like that kind of or that we could cut it in the middle and sort of make it come to the center and overlap a bit. Not this side, this side. So something, something along like that. And then the other side would come down here towards the center and then the same thing on this side. To remind us of a, of a party, kind of a little. Hmm. I think I almost like the criss, the big crisscross in the middle best, like this. Mostly because. I want it to really reflect kind of a party. And I don't know if I like this streamers across like this. I'm not sure if. <laughs> well, I'm a creature of indecision today. This would have been a good one for maybe a live video. Then you guys could chime in what you thought would work best. All right, I think I think I'm going to snip these in half. And we're going to see. Although I do like that. 
but originally my idea was a little bit different. So let's try. I'm going to do this kind of lighter one first. And I'm just sort of arcing that in the center. <clears throat> my page I should turn it back so this is what I'm thinking of something along this line problem is is that my my uh, banner doesn't go all the way to the edge of my page but that's okay I, I think we can probably overcome that somehow I want the red and white one, or red and black one on top. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, so hard to play with them without any adhesive, because then they don't stay where you want them to stay. Alright, just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to put this one on the bottom, or, oh, no, we've already got it like that. Good grief. I'm okay. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not as okay as I thought it was. A, I was. Alright. We could put something over the center, like an embellishment or something, which I think would be helpful. What do you think? I like this side. This side, maybe not as much, but that's okay. We can make that side look how we want. So I'm just going to turn it so that I can go ahead and adhere all these pieces. This one on. You can see how they they do touch each other just a little bit, where the edges are coming together. Not so much that they're super overlapping, just a tiny bit. So I'm roughly trying to make sure that this end point and this end point are kind of the same, kind of in the same place. This one is located about three and a half. This one is located at more like three and three quarters. So it's a little low over on this side, but I think it'll still be okay because that's the nature of these type of decorations. When you put them up, sometimes one hangs just a little bit lower than the other. Not a big deal. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to cut all three of these in half and then um, go ahead and layer them up the same way. So I'm just going to stack these and cut them in half all at the same time. Like so. I'm trying to find my computer, which I seem to have misplaced because I haven't used it in a long time. Because um, it was in the hallway charging. And then it got moved somewhere. And I don't know where. I'm so sorry, I don't know where either. I haven't seen it. Of late. Did it sprout legs and walk away? What was that? I said maybe it sprouted legs and walked away. <laughs> yeah, we very well could have. It wasn't getting near me enough attention. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> Computers that don't get attention walk away. <laughs> Words to the wise, ladies. <laughs> I have no idea where it went. I thought it's in my closet there. Well, you but know. Kudos to you for checking everywhere. <laughs> If I never checked in your closet, I would never know you have candy in here. I have candy in the closet? Shh, don't tell everyone. <laughs> well, cheeseburgers. What am I going to do, Mama? Hmm. I don't know. Be sad. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to be sad? <laughs> well... I'm sorry. Okay. We are almost done with this part. hear it now your dad's gonna listen to this and go are you sure you want everyone to know that Emily lost her computer she didn't lose it she always finds the stuff that she lays down she tells me it's her magic superpower because stuff comes back to her eventually though sometimes it takes a while okay so we are going to um, we are going to mat some of these cute photos and huh, I thought that I had I thought I had a few of these that I had kind of put together that's kind of odd where did they all go Maybe these are them right here, and I'm messing them all up. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, because I know that there were some that I saw mm -hmm. that looked like they could easily go together and make, I think that's one right there. Maybe not that one. Good 
goodness, I know. All right, I'm gonna have to look for those because I know that I put together some Oh, no, that was, in, that was for a different layout that we are, haven't gotten to yet, so I take it back. But those two do go together awfully well. Maybe I'll just leave those together just because. All right, let's put some adhesive on the back of them and square those up. Do you ever do that? Do you ever um, take multiple photos and then you would swear that some of them just line up perfectly like they ought to have been a panoramic picture but they weren't quite that's kind of what I've I I try to do that on purpose sometimes and sometimes they line up really well other times maybe not as well but I think we're gonna go with that and I've got my trimmer here I feel like it gives you a better idea of what the um, what the photo or what the place that you're looking at look like when you can see especially when you're looking at you know a, a boardwalk or a um, mountain range or riverbed or I don't know just lots of different lots of different possibilities there but then you can kind of turn it into your own 4x6 photo however makes you happy I'm just gonna level out this side and that one is good to go and that's actually two pictures but it works good all right let's Let's cut a few more of these into squares because I feel like we just don't need quite so much of our blue, blue sky. So we're going to make these four by four squares. And I don't know, again, I don't know if we'll use every one of these, but they'll be ready to go if we do decide we want to use them all. This one I feel like probably could come together as well. I found it! You found it! See? What was I telling you? She's magic. Oh, it really has been a while since you used it. <laughs> I know what <laughs> it is. It's back behind a bunch of my CM stuff. <laughs> Goodness. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what happened to it? That stuff has been placed there since early July. I use my computer <laughs> all the time. All the time. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't believe you. That's probably good practice, Mama. <laughs> Mr. Card. But I want to believe you. Only in this regard. You can believe me about everything else. <laughs> All right. So we're going to create another panoramic. Uh, panoramic? <laughs> pan panoramic? Panoramic? Picture here. Let's see. That's a bit of the palm tree right on the edge. And you can see I've got a bit of the lamp up here too, which is just going to sort of be flying in the middle of the screen for no apparent reason. But that's okay. It'll survive. It'll all be good. All right. How is there a Hakuna Matata way of scrapbooking? Um. <laughs> or very Bob yes. Ross. <laughs> very Bob Ross. Yeah. Happy little scrapbooking. 
Happy little punched out pieces. <laughs> Happy little embellishments. Exactly. <laughs> Don't knock Bob Ross. I'm not knocking Bob Ross. I know. Ross. I like Bob Ross. I know Bob you like Bob Ross. He has a great fro. He has great hair. He does. Well, he had. He passed. But you're right. He he did pass away. Unless you believe in the afterlife, and then he has. <laughs> and he still has his fro going. <laughs> Um, I grew up with Bob Ross and while listening to his sultry tones on PBS. So, yeah. Sweet dulcet tones. His sweet dulcet tones. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right, I'm just cutting this photo down so it's the same height as this one. Not that I'm going to combine them, although I probably could but not gonna go there just now. All right, I think we've trimmed all the photos we're gonna trim. Now we need to decide which of these Oh, I think I need to add this to this too. That's what... Goodness gracious, guys, I'm so sorry. Usually this is the part I try to do ahead of time so that you don't have to see me fussing over which photo looks better where. But maybe this is good a good experience for you to see. Let's see where that's gonna gonna go. Really needs to go right in there. Okay. All right, now that is a little crooked. We could straighten it out by using that edge as our straight edge. And trimming this photo to match it. Except I need to get a little more, a wee spot closer. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing down here on the bottom so that those edges are straight and match. Ta da! Loving it. Okay. And that edge, that edge is pretty straight. And this edge is pretty straight. Okay, I think that one is good to go too. All right, let's figure out our layout, where we want these to go, and then we'll figure out our mats that we want to make. Okay, so as you approach the pier, you really experience Was that the pier at Disneyland? Or Adventure? Uh, at Pixar um, at Pixar, P they call it Pixar Pier. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I remember everybody else went on the um, the, the Tower of Terror ride that they turned into the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Yes, and while they were on that, we went over here. Remember? Mm-hmm. And we ate cookies. <laughs> we did eat cookies. They had these giant cookies. Oh my gosh, they were so humongous. But they were very warm they and were tasty. Jack Jack's num nums. Jack Jack's num nums. <laughs> How did you remember that? I didn't remember that. Because it was funny. <laughs> it is funny. Jack Jack's num nums. Mm -hmm. Chocolate chip, warm chocolate chip cookies. As big as your hand, like like as big as the palm of your hand. Pretty tasty, even on a warm day. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What if we brought... I was thinking this would be a cute one to use 
maybe we could use that on the 4x4s because it looks like it's about six inches long so it's going to be a little bit too short and it would be too short to use for the other so let's use that for the 4x4s just to get maybe a different vibe going if you ask my 18 year old that's her lingo she thinks that she's being original guys I can remember people talking about vibes when I was a kid. Mom, did you just talk about yourself in the third person? She thinks she's being original? No, Haley. I was saying it's my 18-year-old's word. <laughs> oh. She uses it a lot. I, I thought you were heralding back to Oh, me no. I was not speaking in third, <laughs> third person. No. <laughs> yes. I didn't mean it to sound that way. It might have sounded that way. I'm a little tired today. It could have sounded like that. No. It's probably my fault. It's okay. All right. So I'm just going to cut from or cut the um, area around the photo so that we can use this maybe for something else. And there we go. We've got those two matted. Frame just a little bit. Now let's do so the biggest piece of paper I have at the moment is this one with the lines on the back. <clears throat> Each one of these is how wide? She asks. This one is three and three quarters. And the other one, I think, is a little bit wider. I think it's a four inch. Yeah, this one is four. So we've got three and three quarters, and we've got four. So let's do four. This one, and four and a quarter for the one on the right. Maybe we'll do. I'm gonna have to look at this and see which one feels better. And I may need to raise these up a little bit because they're not feeling like they're showing up. What do you think? I think I need to move those, move these up closer to the top. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this on. Actually, hang on. Before we move too far, my um, adopted ADHD-ness is taking over. Let's flip this over and just see what it might look like to use the stripes rather than the matching one. I actually kind of like the stripes better because they give a little more color. Okay, let's go ahead and adhere this on and then I'll trim it in a second after we move our garland up a bit. That's a win for the ADHD column. Is it? <laughs> did you just say woo? I did. Woo. <laughs> Like wahoo, woo, 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 woo. Okay. All 
I always have wondered ever since my children were small if you could um, inherit attention deficit disorder. And I say that a little bit tongue in cheek. You have to understand that every member of my family, including my husband, except me, has been struggling with that ADHD animal. And there are many, there have been many days through the years where I have felt like somehow I have it too, even though I've never really had a doctor say that. So if you're a mom of an ADHD kid, but you've never been diagnosed with it, I completely understand your life experience. Or at least I have a good idea what you've experienced. I've had many a doctor chuckle at me when I have said that I felt like I had ADHD. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mount these photos and then we'll decide if we need to mat these outer ones or not. I'm not sure we do. And I'm also not sure I'm going to mount these straight. I think I'm going to take more of a party approach. If we put a mat here, then that will allow me some place convenient to journal and then I don't have to trim this strip. So let's, before I put that down, let me grab, let me grab my collection that has all the cool stuff for this one. And let's just see what we can find that might work. actually loving these polka dots. If we use the polka dots as our journal card, then we could just add a couple of circles in a couple of other places and, and that would be good. What do you think about that? I think that's probably going to be our very best bet and I really did not plan that. Did not have that one on top like I had scripted this or anything, but I like it when stuff like that happens. Let's just do that. I'm kind of ungame. What do you think? Let's trim this in half. And it might be a little tall for that side, but this side I think it'll do just perfect. So that's a six inch mat, so we're just going to cut it in directly in half at three inches. And you need to trim just a little bit off. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put this down. that under there just it's just a smidge under this photo right here just right on the corner okay then if we I don't think I'm going to mat these other photos I'm just gonna leave them kind of as they are we're gonna tip them up just a just a little bit and then this one can kind of come down here just a little we can write and we can add more circles okay 
Okay, so there's that one. Let's go ahead and do this side. I'm going to move that for just a second. I'll bring it back in in just a minute so that we have room to work. I have room to work. So just tipping that one up slightly. Bringing it all the way to the jeeping in the center so that it's just a straight swath of <clears throat> paper and then I'm realizing now that I didn't move this one yet are these borders so let me do that before that gets down there too far Kind of nice that they all sort of come up as one piece. That's that repositionable adhesive that I used. So nice. All right. There we go. And now we'll put this one down at a little bit of an angle. I'm not sure what this family was eating, but that sure looks yummy. <laughs> Probably ice cream or something. They were not a part of our group, but we should have asked them where they got that. That looks tasty. Tasty stuff. Okay, we're just gonna do the same thing over here. Add that little journal box in, kind of a little bit adjacent. Now let's do some circle punching and see where we need to add. So let's see here. Definitely need something that's going to cover that center up right there. So we need probably oh, we could use this one with all the wor fun words on the back of it. And we could make this the bigger circle. getting it together. All right. Imagine and play. All right. Now we could this this is a one and I wrote it down somewhere, didn't I write it down somewhere? I didn't. I think it's one and three quarters inch. Let's double check. Let's just measure. Yep, one and three quarters inches. So if we do a two inch circle, it will frame that really, really nicely. So a two inch circle This is a, this is two and a half or five. 
So a two inch circle is going to be Um, that was, that was, what was, that? was that a strange noise? <laughs> that was a strange noise. Oh. Okay, I'm going to cut, so you can see that a 2x2 two two square really does fit pretty well in, in there with just the corners knocked off. If I wanted to do a 2 inch circle, I would probably need the green blade. Let's try it with the green blade and see. See how that might work to frame this, to frame our black circles we punched. All right, and what do we want to do with that in? Red? Let's use red. Red and black pokey dots. Okay, so I'm just going to put my feet in the inside circle track, inside track on this this medium circle for this um, the circle templates for the custom cutting system. I think that's cute. And then we can put that right there in the center. Okay, we're going to do another one so they match because they need to match, right? Thank you for bearing with me today. Sometimes I come to do my videos and I've got exactly what I want to do in mind. And other times I'm creating as I'm doing this with you. So I really am not sure how it's all going to evolve. Today was one of those days. All right. So I'm going to use my adhesive and I'm going to place that in the center best I can. Looks like it's a little off but that's okay. I'm going to live with that. Same thing here. Now I'm going to grab some foam squares and we're going to pop this guy up. Right there in the middle. So one other thing I was considering doing, which I have not ruled out completely, but we haven't really talked about, is adding a border sticker over anywhere. Let's see, over a seam somewhere or that we could use some um, we could use some extra circles so the cool thing about these punches that are old CM is that you can actually see what you're punching so I can punch that out and then use it somewhere where I can punch out this one right here, this black one. And the paper that I have actually becomes its own decoration. Dun dun dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun indeed. 
Right? Well, we could flip it over and just punch some straight pieces. Come on, go in there. Okay, do one more. There we go. So now I can toss that. And we could use these to add some interest at the top. Kind of like so. Just sort of gathered around there. I've got an extra what if we did like that? I don't think I like it. And I don't think we really need a whole lot more be nice to have a couple extra things but I don't really have a lot of I mean I have a lot of embellishments don't get me wrong but I don't have as much right in front of me let's see I have this guy which is kind of cute we could use him kind of in the middle let's see what else I can find here looks a lot better and I don't think I'm gonna make it busier by adding more I think that's probably pretty good all right well let me know what you think about this particular layout this was fun to create with you and um, let me know if you have used the um, this border maker cartridge, remember it was called the dotted banner punch. I've used it before on other layouts that are on this channel, but um, I um, haven't I haven't used it a whole lot in other other types of layouts, but I might. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I like it as well when I use it on a patterned paper. But on a tone on tone, I think it would look really, really nice and do um, and possibly look better than even than this layout. But I'm pleased. And we'll be back in a couple days with another layout from Pixar Pier. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have many more creative moments. Have a great day.